Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Let's Play Quackshot. I'm Grey, I'm glad you're joining me for this. So yeah, I've been itching to do this game for a while, since I did Castle Illusion, because when I got it when I was younger, I had the two in one on the cartridge, so that was pretty cool. The game's for price of one, which at the time was the coolest thing ever. And then I got Sonic 3 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which was one in one, but two together, so yeah. I was easily amused as a child. Anyway, it's the intro screen. You can see Donald Duck is going full on Indiana Jones on us. Only not as good. And we find a treasure map. So yeah, anyway. As you can tell, it, well, you can probably tell by listening. I'm talking very quiet into a mic with it turned up quite a way, so forgive me in advance for any sounds. It's late here, so I've got to be quiet. Anyway, one day, Donald came across an old book in Uncle Scrooge's study. Do I have to press a button now? Or is it just a case of it'll do it itself? Now I gotta press a button. Okay. The title of the book was King Garuzia's Great Duck Adventure. According to the book, Garuzia was once the leader of a great duck kingdom. Wasn't gonna be leopards or lions, was it? Just before he died, King Garuzia and his most prized possession hid. Sorry, I thought that said Anne. King Garuzia and his most. Too late, obviously. King Garuzia hid his most prized possession in a secret location. I'll try not to fuck up too much. Tucked inside the book, Donald found a map showing clues to where the treasure could be found. Wow, Donald exclaimed. If I could find a treasure like this, I'd be richer than Uncle Scrooge. And Scrooge McDuck is a fucking oh, legend for his money with his 93 meter depth gauge. Anyway, one of Pete's gang had been spying through the window and saw everything. Donald took the map with him as he started to head home. Pete's gang chased after Donald on the treasure map. Donald could see an open man all ahead and jumped over it, but Pete's gang all fell in. They were always pretty dumb. So, Donald took Huey, Dewey, and Louie to the plane to take off on the great treasure hunt. But just then, Daisy appeared. Oh dear. Donald, where are you going? You were supposed to be at my house for dinner an hour ago. Daisy, something very important has come up. I'm going to find something special for you, and I want it to be a surprise. Donald, wait, come back. Donald! Oh, yeah. Donald and his nephews took off in their plane, leaving a furious Daisy behind. Moments later, Pete's gang flew after them in a plane of their own. Anyway, so that's that, we're on to the game. Now. Normally, I think you're meant to go to Duckburg, but it's quicker to go to Mexico first. Obviously. You get a key. There's a guy at the end of Duckburg, and he gives you a key once you've been to Mexico. So yeah. Anyway, yeah, like I say, it's late, so I'm gonna talk real quiet. And I'm trying to increase the sound quality of my videos. I'm starting to actually pay attention to it, and there's bits on all the ones where my voice is a bit lost, which probably gonna be this time. Obviously. Because I'm talking that fucking quiet, it's hard to capture it decently. But anyway. So yeah, I'm aiming to get the sound quality better. Please tell me if you notice the difference when I finally get around to releasing this video. Compared to my other videos, yeah, just... Hopefully it's a bit better. We'll see. That sounded down my headphones a little bit. Let me see. It's late. Anyway. So yeah, this game's pretty fucking awesome. I don't know why, it's just pretty damn cool. With the plunger and everything. No guns allowed in the Disney universe, I don't think. Yeah, you can fire a whole bunch of directions, and later on, the game not allow you to stick to a wall. But yeah, I figure since we've done a Mickey Mouse game, I gotta do a Donald Duck one, and this is the only one I know of. I might say, come with the cartridge on the Sega. With Castle Delusion, so it's really fucking sweet. You can see I'll use full health, but I'm already at full health, so I don't need it. And yeah, we're getting on looking for the great. Was it the great Garuzia? Garuzia, anyway, we're looking for his treasure. So yeah, I want to get to the other end of Mexico, or this bit of it anyway. Popcorn. Popcorn is a good weapon. It's the most. I think it's the most powerful shot you get. Oh, Donald, don't you know that you need a special key to go into these ruins? A team of explorers returned to Duckburg with it. It's called the Hero Key. Thank you, sweet senorita. Oh, senorita, I always thought I was a dude. It still looks like a dude. One ugly senorita. Oh, 
Anyway, so now we go to the bug. Like I say, it saves me having to run through here. Oh, yeah. It, you don't have to run through it again, but it saves me the trip. I'm not aiming for a speed run, honestly, but you know. I haven't done a Let's Play for a few days, so I'm keen to get one done. It's been hectic again. That and I've trying to figure out the issues with my mic and that, you know. Too much hiss. Background hiss and stuff on my recordings. Trying to figure out the noise gate, and blah blah blah. Which, you know, you figure being a musician would be alright with, but getting used to it will be a studio. Which is pretty damn good, actually. Anyway. Hey, have you seen the hero key? I've got it right here. Are you a hero? Try to be. And take it, and good luck. I get the hero key. That guy's got a lot of faith. Fair play. And we're off back to Mexico. So yeah, here we go. That's the world's ugliest scenery. <gasps> go into the darkness within, or not. Most well lit fucking dungeon? I don't know. Place ever. And yeah, the fire's alive and it wants my blood. I can have it. Let's me get through way quicker. And yeah, you shoot these guys and you get by. You can stand on them once you've shot them. Till then, nope. No such luck. Hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know. I've got plenty of hit points to spare, and you may have noticed I left that chicken. There's a reason for that. All the green things disappear on the way back out, which I guess this might be spoilers, but I don't know. But yeah, I'm not likely to actually die, so I can just nab the chicken on the way out and no worries. Right. There we go, more popcorn. We'll come in helpful later. Shit, that was a bad move. I gotta get him up a little bit. I can actually jump to that next platform. That was a shit fucking shot. I should change the controls, really. The A button's on one side of the pad and the jump button's on the other. And frankly, it's a little awkward. The plunger in the middle. Not that awkward, but you know. I'm a little bitch, so. What can I say? Oh, I can't make it. That's good. We got that. Wait for him to come down. There we go. Perfect. Perfect 10 for that shot. Now he's goofy. Poor fellow. It's swell to see. Yep, what are you doing here? Still looking around. I found this strange note. I don't know what to do with it. Do you want it? You bet. I also found this funny plunger thing. If you shoot it at walls and things, it will help you reach high places. And Gyro and Duckberg is looking for him. So yeah, I get no one to plunger, and Goofy already seems to have tried it out, so that's nice. Anyway, he's gonna stand on them now, which is epic. Probably that would hurt his feet though. I mean, you know, little surface area, because it's a plunger, it's not gonna be a massive plank for him to stand on. Oh well, he doesn't seem too fast. Donald has strong as fuck feet from, you know, walking about without shoes all the time. Which I see everyone else wearing shoes. And I think they had that argument where Donald Duck was banned in Sweden or something, because he's not wearing trousers. The fact that he's wearing a top or whatever indicates that he's fully aware of clothes and everything that they are. He's just like going full fucking commando with the lower half. So. Uh, Good for him, I guess? I don't know. Anyway, I'll wait for this time. There's no spare chicken weight that you want my health after. Oh, I'm gonna need all of my health points for the getting back out this last bit of the temple. But still. Anyway, rolls out on his front. Let's go. And I call the airplane and head back to Duckburg. And we're back in Duckburg. Yay. Now, what do I do here? Can you figure it out? The Red Plunger. Yep, I'm through. So 
yeah, I think I better call it here. 10 minutes on the dump nearly. So, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you for part 2. Bye.